So what we discovered was that uh, two species, the resident killer whales and Pacific white-sided dolphins, seem to be cooperatively foraging on uh, salmon and most likely adult Chinook salmon off the coast of BC. So we think this is important for a couple of reasons. The first is that interspecies interactions are commonly observed um, around the world. So we see whales and dolphins or different species of whales that interact with one another. But understanding the actual mechanism or the reason why we're seeing both species interacting has largely been speculative. And that's because a lot of the behaviors that are occurring are underwater and we just can't see what's going on. But then once we put the suction cup tags on the whales that had cameras and acoustic recorders, then we could actually see that not only were the killer whales following dolphins at the surface, but they would follow them to depth down to around 60 meters where it would become really dark and we could just see the silhouettes of the dolphins at the head of the whale. And so what this told us was that the whales are you know, working together to target uh, large salmon for the killer whales to capture. It's important because if there's maybe another mechanism or a way to help facilitate um, the resident killer whales to find their food, then that might be advantageous for the population. But we need to collect more data to try to figure out like, is this really prevalent? Like how often are resident killer whales cooperatively foraging with Pacific white-sided dolphins? And that's something that we've yet to determine. To see that things were perhaps a bit more complex than we initially understood is, it's always exciting because like we just, you know, you scratch the surface with a lot of the research that you do. And then every now and then you get kind of lucky and something unexpected happens. And so this is one of those kind of lucky things. <laughs>